Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The government of India has undertaken modernization of defense airfield infrastructure aimed at enhancing the capability in terms of facilitating operation in poor weather conditions including night operations, enhanced in-route navigation infrastructure and enhanced traffic handling capabilities. The Ministry of Defence has signed two contracts for the modernization of airfield infrastructure MAFI as it will happen in two phases. The phase 1 was signed on 16th March 2011 for the modernization of 30 Indian Air Force airfields which has been completed. The phase 2 was signed on 8th May 2020 for modernization of another 37 airfields which is in progress. The Ministry has further informed that the budgetary allocation made for the modernization of airfield under Phase 1 was Rs 1,215 crore and under Phase 2 it was 1,187 crore. During the 1965 Indo-Pakistan War, nearly 60% of Air Force losses were of the fighters that were on ground. Learning from the war, India started building blast-proof panes. The blast-proof pane is a tunnel-shaped concrete structure covered with a layer of earth and protective walls near their openings, which was supposed to protect aircraft from the effects of blast in case of any attack. The blast-proof panes ensured that the fighters on the ground were safe during Bangladesh Liberation War of 1971. No aircraft on the ground was lost in 1971 war. Air Force bases in the western sector already have blast panes. However, the change in warfare technology, the blast-proof panes may not be enough to protect assets and need to be upgraded with NGHAS, which is Next Generation Hardened Aircraft Shelters. So, in 2019, government has allocated Rs 5,500 crore to build the Next Generation Hardened Aircraft Shelter on India's northern borders. The Air Force has got a go-ahead to construct 108 modern shelters to house fighter aircrafts in forward areas of India's northern borders at a time when China has ramped up the activity in Tibet Autonomous Region which overlooks Arunachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim and Ladakh. Majority of the hardened shelters were designed to house the Russian-made Su-30 MKI fighter jets which is the mainstay of Indian Air Force fighter. NGHS are specialized structures comprising layers of reinforced concrete, sand and steel. They can protect aircraft from direct hit by a 2,000 pound bomb. Apart from the hardened shelters, Indian Air Force has also inducted new technology to repair the damaged runway in just few hours which will give Air Force retaliatory edge. The Air Force station in Haryana's Ambala and West Bengal's Hasimara houses a squadron of Rafale each. To house Rafales at the base, Indian Air Force has constructed hangars, hardened concrete shelters and maintenance facility at these bases. The government has sanctioned around 400 crore rupees for this purpose. The Ambala base is considered one of the most strategically located base of Air Force as Indo-Pakistan border is around 220 km from it. On 19th October, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi had laid the foundation stone for new airbase at Disa in Banaskantha district of North Gujarat, very close to Indo-Pakistan border. Spread over an area of 4,519 acres, Disa is a greenfield airbase. The new airbase is just 130 km away from international border and upon completion, this airbase will reduce the long pending strategic gap of 355 km between Air Force Station in Bhuj and Uttara Lai. It will enable Air Force to respond much quicker and in a better way. Also, in the light of ongoing conflict with China, India has been considering multiple options for developing airfields in eastern Ladakh including Dalat Beg Oldi, Fukche and Nayoma. These advanced landing grounds are at a distance of just few minutes from the line of actual control with China. Now, as for latest reports, Nayoma Airfield, which is less than 50 kilometers from LSC in eastern Ladakh, will be upgraded to operate fighter jets. It will bridge the critical gap between Leh Airfield and LSE, enabling quick movement of men and material in the eastern Ladakh. 
The Indian Air Force is also preparing to establish another airbase in Ladakh across 500 hectare in Changtheng Sanctuary area right off the line of actual control. Currently, Indian Air Force key airbase is in Ladakh at Leh. It is supplemented by advanced landing ground facilities at Fukche since 1960s besides Dorotbeg Oldi, Tauze and Nayoma more recently. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.